The special program of 4.4 were finally took place, and all the official information was shown. The Ginchin Impact 4.4 banner and event details have been officially announced for the latest patch, titled Vibrant Harriers Aloft in Spring Breeze. As always, there are two banner phases and new time-limited events in the latest update, with Ginchin Impact version 4.4 featuring one new 5-star character, one new 4-star character, three 5-star banner reruns, and the return of Lantern Rite festivities and its free 4-star character selection. Ginchin Impact 4.4 will release on Wednesday, January 31st. It should follow the usual maintenance schedule for new updates, with 4.4 releasing at 3 a.m. GMT. Due to time zone differences, 4.4 releases in the United States on Tuesday, January 30th at 7 p.m. PT. The version 4.4 banners debut new 5-star character Sien Yun, Cloud Retainer, and new 4-star character Gaming. Phase 1 of the 4.4 banner schedule begins with new Anemo 5-star Sien Yun, featured in her The Crane Soars Skyward banner, and returning Dendro 5-star Nahitha featured in her The Moongrass Enlightenment banner. New Pyro 4-star Gaming also debuts in both Sien Yun and Nahitha's banners. Gaming is also one of the free Liyue characters you can claim for free during Lantern Rite in version 4.4. As usual, the 4.4 Phase 1 banners run alongside each other, and should be available from Wednesday January 31st until Wednesday February 21st. In Phase 2 of the 4.4 banner schedule we have returning Anemo 5-star Zhao's invitation to Mundane Life banner and returning, returning Electro 5-star Ye Miko's Everbloom Violet banner. These Phase 2 banners should run from Wednesday February 21st until Tuesday March 12th, the day before the expected release date of the 4.5 update. In summary, all the new characters and 5-star characters that you can want during 4.4 in Genshin Impact are these listed above, the 4-star ones that we will know later are still missing, they have not been announced for now. There will also be a new weapon in Phase 1 of the version 4.4 weapon banner, the 5-star Crane's Echoing Call Catalyst, Xin Yun's signature. The Genshin Impact 4.4 update includes Xin Yun's first story quest, Free 4 star Liyue character, including gaming. New Liyue area, Chinyu Vale. New outfits for Shinha and Ganyu. Free Xingqiu outfit, for completing Lantern Rite tasks. Login event, including 10 intertwined fates. 3 intertwined fates in the mailbox for free. New boss, Solitary Swanee. Genius Invocation TCG update. Fast Equip and Custom Loadout Artifact Features Overflowing Mastery Event In addition to this content, we're getting the usual four events during 4.4, including the return of Lantern Rite. Lantern Rite 2024, Vibrant Harriers Aloft in Spring Breeze. There are a total of three mini-challenges in the Lantern Rite event. In Paper Shadows a forging you control Gooba and Yugi from a top-down perspective to move them in a limited amount of steps towards the puzzle's goal. Joyful Beasts and their auspices is played across three stages in co-op, and sees you compete in a variety of mini-games like coin collecting and staying inside safe zones. In Iridescent Cloud Striding you use a Golden Carp's Leap to fly through the air and collect as many Jade Lotus Lanterns as possible. Once again the main reward of Lantern Rite is your choice of a free 4-star Liyue character, including the new character gaming. Complete enough mini-games and you can also earn a free skin for Xingqiu. In addition to the Lantern Rite there are three other events, the first is Receiver of Friends from Afar. Familiar faces from across all nations of Teyvat appear in Receiver of Friends from Afar, a cooking mini-game that tests our plating skills as well as cooking prowess. The second is Journey Through Hill Enigmatic Terrain. Journey Through Hill Enigmatic Terrain takes place in Mondstadt where mysterious statues have started to appear in Dapa Gorge, causing the nearby Hillichurl tribes to behave strangely. The third and last is Triumphant Frenzy. Is a combat event where you have to take on each challenge across four rounds. In total in this version 4.4 you will be able to obtain a lot of Primo Gems, Below you will find a sheet indicating all the rewards that you can also obtain with the various welcoming moons etc. Now that the banners are official, who will you pull on? Let me know in the comments.